All right, folks. In about five seconds, you're going to see the world that I live in. Four, three, two, one. Welcome to my world. The world of asphalt, concrete, steel, rubber, plastic, aluminum. The unforgiving freeways of Southern California. Hey, this Sunday, 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, that's like 12 o'clock if you guys are on the East Coast. Look right below this video, you see where it says shock radio you can go there right now and save that page to your favorites this Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific time that's 12 o'clock a.m. Uh, or what's that 1201 <laughs> hold on a second let me get over here that'll be 12 o'clock your time if you're on the East Coast 9 o'clock for the West Coast folks we're doing a radio show on evolution. Yes, everybody's favorite topic. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pointing out how macroevolution has not been proven. You know most people do not know the difference between micro and macroevolution. So we're going to be showing you how macroevolution has not been proven. And we're going to be talking to you about the difference between micro and macro evolution. My friend Micah will be joining me on Shock Radio. Also, we have updated the blog, and I'm look at all this smoke coming out of this uh, <coughs> out of this truck that's in front of this car. I think it's a diesel truck. I got to get in front of these guys. I wanted to get you some good video going up these little gradual corners here. So let's see if I can do that while I talk to you. Hold on. This guy's going to go here, so don't forget to click below, check out the, the blog. We have Our blog is updated. Here we go. Um, this guy in the Cadillac got his foot to the floor here um, in front of me. Our blog has been updated, the Traditional Values Coalition. All right, I got the free lane here. Check this out. The Traditional Values Coalition has joined the Question Evolution Campaign. Now I gotta get all the way over here, so bear with me, I don't wanna get hit by this cat. All right, here we go. Check out our blog right below here, and I'll see you 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific time at Shock Radio. Should be really good. Do you, just, just to give you an example, do you know that we have billions with the B of fossils. However, the fossil evidence does not show that macroevolution is true. It is embarrassingly missing intermediate form. We should have intermediate fossils. Man, that guy stalled in the fast lane back there. For example, um, there's a theory that a dog-like uh, mammal, the Pacasitas, which is like a four-legged animal, that it uh, transitioned into a whale that swims in the sea, right? Okay, they believe that, I don't. But do you have any idea how many different fossils we should have? Do you have any idea all the changes that have to occur for this Pacasitas to transition into a seafaring whale. We should have millions and millions of intermediate fossils. In other words, let's say point A is the Pacasitas and Z on the alphabet, A to Z, with all the letters in between, Z on the alphabet is the whale. Well, from B to Y, you know, A, B, C, D, from B to Y, we should have intermediate fossils proving that this Pacasitas transition into the seafaring whale, where are they? Where are the fossils? See, you can't use the excuse, well, fossils are rare. I, I always hear that from evolution. 
fossils are rare. No, they're not. We have billions of them. Billions of fossils we have. What we don't have are these intermediates between, for example, the Pachycetus and the whale. Do you know I was listening to the Thinking Atheist show, and by the way, I challenged the Thinking Atheist to a debate, and he cowered. He doesn't want to debate. Now, yes, this might be the first... <laughs> this might be the first case of a transitional species because I saw the Thinking Atheist transition right before my eyes into a chicken! But I take it back, it's the second case, possibly, because I challenged the amazing atheist, he too transitioned into a chicken. Okay, so there might be two, <laughs> there might be two cases of transitions here. We had two atheists transition into chickens. They don't want to debate. Yet both of them bash me. You got the amazing atheist trying to hurt my little feelings, bashing me on his videos. So when I say, well, let's debate, he's afraid. He has transitioned into a chicken. The same thing with the thinking atheist on his radio show. Man, this guy is going very slow all of a sudden. The thinking atheist bashes me on his radio show. That's fine. I don't mind. I appreciate the free advertising. Um, but when I challenge him to a debate, he too chickens out. So uh, that might be two cases where atheists have evolved into chickens. Okay, but besides that, <laughs> oh, it's just, this is so rich. Uh, besides that, we do not see, besides the amazing athe atheist and the thinking atheist, the amazing atheist thought about debating me and he realized he wouldn't be too amazing in debate, so he checked it out. The thinking atheist, he thought and he ran. Okay, ah, uh, we're off the freeway. Um, do you guys see what that that sticker on the car means right there? N O T W. Not of this world. So this person in front of me is a Christian. So when you see that N O T W, unless I'm wrong, I believe that's not of this world. <clears throat> so I'll see you guys this. Sunday at Shock Radio. Look right below this video, please, and you'll see all the links there. Our blog has been updated. The Traditional Values Coalition has joined. They have millions, uh, well over a million, I'm being conservative here, well over a million members, guys. Um, so they have joined the Question Evolution campaign. We're doing a radio show this Sunday. This is not a recorded show. This is live. We're going to have a giant chat room open school zone I gotta go 25 here we're gonna have a giant hey look see this is why you want to go 25 in a school zone pulling people over we're gonna have a giant chat room open right here below shock radio do you know that I've had some pretty famous people on my radio show I've had uh, right here from YouTube pastor George D man for Christ tally gear up Ray Comfort, I've had Ray Comfort on, uh, that was really good. You know, Ray Comfort had this book, um, You Can Lead an Atheist to Evidence, but You Can't Make Him Think, and you know he bumped off um, uh, Richard Dawkins' book off the number one slot off of Amazon.com, and Richard Dawkins was all ticked off about it. So I'll see you Sunday. Hey, listen, I'm going to leave you with a hilarious quote by Richard Dawkins. Only Dodo Bird Dawkins could say something like this. Dawkins said when asked, well, where are the intermediate fossils? Why, why don't we see these transitions happening? Why don't we observe it anywhere in the fossil record? You know what uh, Dawkins said? You're sitting down. He said, well, it's not that we don't observe it. It's just we don't observe it while it's happening. <laughs> oh, it's madness. But what do you expect from a guy that says that he believes the earth could have been seeded by little green men. He said it could have been seeded by aliens. Yes, he doesn't explain who created the aliens and we have no proof and evidence for aliens. I'll see you Sunday guys right here, Shock Radio. You got to see all those uh, sites right there, awesome. Nine o'clock, be there, should be good.